Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and welcome. Well, it's time for another healthy meal prep and this week's menu is focused on high protein meals that are also lower in calories to help jumpstart your weight loss and get you ready for summer. And as with all of my healthy meal preps, this week's menu is for a full five day work week and it includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. For breakfast, we're making my apple cinnamon protein pancakes and y'all, these pancakes are so delicious that you can really just eat them on their own. They don't even need syrup because they're so good. And we're going to pair these with my go-to turkey breakfast sausage just to get in that extra protein first thing in the morning. And then I'm going to round it out with a side of fresh berries. For lunch, we're prepping these protein-packed mason jar cob salads with a homemade ranch dressing. And let me just say, the salad in a jar method when it comes to prepping your salads in advance is a total game changer. Dinner, is gonna be these grain-free Korean beef bowls. And this is hands down one of my top five favorite healthy dinners right now. I've been making it on repeat for the past probably month or so. Darrell loves it too. But it is just so full of flavor, it's so tasty, and it's super savory and filling. But if you love Asian-inspired dishes, then you'll definitely wanna try this recipe. And for snacking throughout the week, we're gonna be making these blueberry flax protein shakes. And this is just an easy way to get in extra protein in between meals. Each shake contains 31 grams of protein. All of the recipes on this week's menu are gluten-free, grain-free, and have dairy-free options. Of course, you can print off this entire meal prep menu over on my blog post. I've also listed the macros over there for each individual recipe, as well as the full daily macro count. So if you're counting your macros, you'll definitely want to head over to the blog post because you'll see that information there. And as with all of my five-day meal preps, I also have a free downloadable grocery shopping list for this week's menu. So I will have all that linked for y'all in the description box below. And like I always say, if you like to have more variety throughout the week, feel free to mix and match any of the recipes from my previous weight loss meal preps with the recipes on this week's menu. And that way you can sort of build your own menu to fit your taste preference. So I will have my five day meal prep playlist linked for y'all below as well. But anyway, I'm ready to start meal prepping, so let's head to the kitchen and get started. All right, let's prep breakfast first, starting with these apple cinnamon protein pancakes. This is definitely my favorite pancake recipe right now, and they're so easy to whip up. So in a large mixing bowl, add in three quarter cups of almond flour, and make sure whenever you're measuring the flours to loosely pack them into the measuring cup. You don't wanna press the flour into the cup because the pancakes will turn out way too dense. And then I like to sort of level it off with a butter knife. Next, add in a quarter cup each of coconut flour, tapioca flour, and your favorite unflavored protein powder. Then add in two to three teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of sea salt. Mix that all up until everything is fully combined and most of the lumps are gone. Set that aside and now let's mix our wet ingredients. In a separate mixing bowl add in four eggs, half a cup of unsweetened applesauce, half a cup of unsweetened almond milk, or really any type of milk works with this recipe, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one tablespoon of raw honey. Whisk that all together until the eggs are fully broken down and everything is combined. And now let's pour the bowl of wet ingredients into the bowl of dry ingredients and just continue mixing that until it's fully combined and there's no lumps. This next addition is totally optional, but I also like to add one grated apple to the pancake mix. So I'm just running an apple through the chute of my food processor using the grater tool. Of course, you can also use a box grater or you don't have to add it at all. And just gently fold that into the pancake mixture until it's fully incorporated. And all we have to do now is cook the pancakes. So in a large skillet or griddle over medium heat, add one tablespoon of avocado oil. All right, once that skillet is fully heated, add about a quarter cup of the pancake mixture to the pan and just let that cook until it starts to bubble on top and the bottom is firm enough to flip. Then you can go ahead and flip them and just continue to cook them a few more minutes. I like to flip them a few more times, but they do cook pretty fast, so keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burn or be too dry. And you're just gonna repeat that process until all of the pancake mixture is gone. This recipe should yield you about 10 pancakes. All right, now let's prep the turkey breakfast sausage. And I prep these for myself almost every single week because they're such an easy way to get in more protein first thing in the morning, and they pair well with pretty much anything. You'll need one pound of 93% lean ground turkey. And with sausage, it's all about the spices. So we're gonna add 
add one teaspoon each of sea salt, paprika, and garlic powder, half a teaspoon each of dried sage, dried thyme, black pepper, and onion powder, and 1 4 teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Mix that all together until the spices are fully worked into the turkey, and then you'll want to separate the mixture into roughly 10 equal parts, and then form each part into a patty. And going back to the skillet, I'm turning the heat back up to medium and just add as many patties as you can. Now when cooking with ground turkey, I like to add a splash of water and then cover the skillet with a lid. And this is going to create some steam and that way the patties won't dry out and they'll be extra moist. And just cook those patties on each side until they're fully cooked through. But once they're pretty much done, I like to remove the lid to let any excess liquid evaporate and then sort of brown the patties on each side to maximize the flavor. And just that fast, breakfast prep is done. Now it's time to assemble our meal prep containers. I'm adding two pancakes to each container, but I'm going to go ahead and cut them into smaller pieces so that way they'll fit nicely into the containers and they'll already be in bite-sized pieces. Next, I'm adding two turkey sausage patties to each container. And then to sneak in some extra vitamin C and antioxidants, I'm going to round out this healthy breakfast with some fresh berries. Of course, don't forget if you're counting your macros, the full macro count for this breakfast meal prep is going to be over on the blog post, which I will have linked for y'all in the description box below. And we can't forget the maple syrup, so I'm adding one tablespoon of maple syrup into each of my sauce cups. And I just love these sauce cups, y'all. They're great for taking salad dressings, dips, salsas, or even condiments on the go. But breakfast meal prep is done. Again, you have to try these apple cinnamon protein pancakes. They are so delicious. But this breakfast is packed with protein and it's gonna keep you full and energized all morning long. Next up, let's prep our lunch for the week. We're making these protein packed mason jar cob salads. And if you've been trying to figure out how to meal prep salads in advance without them getting soggy, the salad in a jar method is a game changer. Let's prep all the individual ingredients first and then we can start to layer the salads. I'm going to get the eggs boiling first. You'll need five eggs and I like to wait for the water to start to boil first before I drop the eggs in and I'm going to boil them for 10 minutes. Okay while those are boiling let's get the chicken breast going. You'll need one pound of boneless skinless chicken breast and you can season it however you'd like but I'm going to add sea salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and poultry seasoning and I'm just rubbing that all over the chicken breast. To speed things up, I'm gonna cook the chicken in my pressure cooker, but of course, you can also cook it in the oven. I'm just adding that to the pressure cooker pot, along with a splash of water. You can also use chicken broth, but you wanna add enough liquid to cover the bottom of the pot. And then I'm gonna pressure cook it on high for about 12 minutes. And going back to the eggs, once they're done, let's drain the water and then give them a quick ice bath to stop the cooking process. After they've soaked for about 10 minutes, you can go ahead and peel them. All right, setting those aside, let's get started on the turkey bacon. In a skillet over medium heat, you'll wanna cook a total of 10 slices of bacon and just cook them on each side until they're fully cooked through. As you can see, this cob salad is loaded with protein-rich foods, which is gonna to help to regulate your appetite and keep you full all afternoon. Okay, once the bacon's done, set it aside and let it cool while we go check on the chicken. And once the chicken's done, you can go ahead and shred it up with a fork. Set the chicken aside and once the bacon has cooled, I like to cut it up into small bite sized pieces and I just use my regular scissors for this. Don't forget to chop up the boiled eggs as well. I like for them to be a little chunky so I'm going to use a knife instead of a fork. Alright, now that we've prepped everything that needs to be cooked, while those things are cooling off, let's prep all of our veggies and the homemade ranch dressing. You'll need two cups of diced cucumber, and I like to sneak in cucumbers whenever I can because not only are they super low in calories, but they're also great for promoting hydration, they contain a good amount of vitamin K, which is great for your bones, and of course, it's an easy way to get in extra fiber, which is going to help to keep you regular. I'm also adding two cups of cherry tomatoes, and I'm just cutting those into halves. Tomatoes are rich in lycopene, which is what gives them their deep red color. And lycopene may help to reduce your risk of heart disease, certain cancers, and even help to protect your skin against sun exposure. I'm also chopping up one red onion. Now, if you're not a fan of raw onions, don't worry. You can totally leave it out or you can substitute it with carrots, celery, or even chopped broccoli. 
And for the lettuce, I'm gonna be using romaine today, but really any type of lettuce or leafy green works with this recipe. Just make sure you rinse it really well. I like to soak my lettuce in water with vinegar and baking soda just to make sure it's super clean. All right, let's give it a good rinse and make sure that the lettuce is fully dry before you add it to the jars. Lastly, let's quickly prep the ranch dressing. Now I'm gonna be making a Greek yogurt ranch dressing today to sneak in extra protein and to cut the calories. But if you wanna make my regular ranch dressing, I will have that linked for y'all in the description box below. So in a mixing bowl, add in half a cup of avocado mayonnaise. And I'm using my homemade mayonnaise recipe today, which I'll have that linked for y'all below as well. Half a cup of plain unsweetened Greek yogurt. Of course, you can also use plain dairy-free yogurt. One teaspoon each of dried dill and garlic powder. Half a teaspoon each of dried parsley, dried chives, onion powder, and black or white pepper. A pinch of sea salt. And one to two teaspoons of lemon juice. Let's give that a good mix until everything is fully incorporated. And I like to add about two to four tablespoons of water just to thin out the consistency a little bit and make it go further. All right, it is now time to assemble our mason jars. And with mason jar salads, it's all about how you layer the ingredients to ensure that they stay fresher for longer in the fridge. Let's start by adding two tablespoons of the ranch dressing to each jar, followed by the cherry tomatoes, the diced cucumber, and the chopped onion. Now the key here is to add all the high water foods to the bottom of the jar first, and this helps to keep the other ingredients from getting too soggy. Next, let's add the chopped boiled eggs along with the shredded chicken and the turkey bacon. Now with the meats, it doesn't really matter what order you layer them in. The main thing is just to make sure that they're closer to the top of the jar. And lastly, we're gonna pack in as much lettuce as possible. The more you can add, the better, because that means less air gets into the jars, which is gonna keep the salads fresher for longer. Let's add the lids, and these protein-packed mason jar cob salads are ready to go. Each salad has 40 grams of protein, and they're also loaded with fiber and nutrient-dense foods, so they're not only gonna keep you full all afternoon, but they're also very nutritious. And whenever you're ready to serve it, just dump everything into a bowl, give it a good toss to make sure everything's coated with the ranch dressing, and then I like to top it off with one-fourth of an avocado just to get in those extra healthy fats and nutrients, but it's really just that simple. Dump, toss, and enjoy. All right, now let's get started on dinner. I'm so excited for y'all to try these grain-free Korean beef bowls. It's a new recipe I've been making for the past month or so, and it's definitely in my top five favorite healthy dinners right now. In a skillet over medium heat, add in one tablespoon of avocado oil, along with half of a chopped yellow onion, and just saute that until the onions are slightly soft and translucent. And while that's sauteing, I'm gonna peel and mince some fresh ginger. You'll need two loosely packed tablespoons worth. And as we all know, ginger is great at fighting inflammation. So I try to get fresh ginger into my diet on a weekly basis, whether it be with a recipe like this or with my weekly wellness shots. Once the onions are slightly soft, go ahead and add the minced ginger to the skillet along with four minced garlic cloves and saute that a couple more minutes. Now to make this dinner higher in protein, instead of adding two pounds of ground beef, I'm gonna add one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground turkey. And if you want it to be even higher in protein, you can just use the ground turkey. But I do find that the beef adds more flavor and savoriness to this recipe, so I like to do half and half. All right, let's break that up and let it cook through. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna shred the carrots and prepare the sauce. To quickly shred the carrots, I'm just running them through the chute of my food processor using the a grater tool. You'll need one cup of shredded carrots, which is about three to four carrot stalks. Set that aside, and now let's prepare the sauce. In a mixing bowl, add in half a cup of coconut aminos. And if you're not familiar with this, it's a delicious soy sauce alternative. And nowadays, you can actually find it at most grocery stores, and it's definitely on Amazon. Three teaspoons of toasted sesame oil, one tablespoon of raw honey, and one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Whisk that all together until it's fully combined. And going back to the beef mixture, once it's fully browned and cooked through, if there's a lot of excess grease in it, go ahead and drain some of it, but don't drain all of it. I like to keep some of it in there to maximize the flavor. All right, now let's add in half a teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder. Mix that up and then add in the shredded carrots and just continue mixing and cooking that for about two to three more minutes to allow those carrots to soften up a little bit. 
Lastly, let's add in the sauce and mix that up until the sauce is fully incorporated and just let that cook for about three more minutes. Once it's done, remove it from the stovetop and let's quickly cook up some cauliflower rice. To speed things up, I'm adding two bags of pre-riced cauliflower to a large skillet over medium heat, which is exactly 24 ounces. Now make sure if you're using frozen cauliflower rice like I am, you let it defrost in the fridge overnight. Add a lid and let that cook for about five minutes. And then I like to add a splash of water just to create some steam so it'll cook through faster. But you'll want to continue to cook that until it reaches your desired texture. And by the way, you can use regular rice with this recipe if you want to. I'm just using cauliflower rice today to keep it grain free and to cut back on the calories and make it more weight loss friendly. Once it's done, season it to your liking with sea salt and pepper. I'm also adding in some chopped green onion, but this is optional. And just like that, dinner is done. And now I'm going to assemble my meal prep containers. I'm adding the cauliflower rice to the containers first. And I just sort of eyeball it and try to get an equal amount into each container. Next, let's add the beef mixture. I'm adding some chopped green onion and sesame seeds. And whenever you're ready to eat it, top it off with one fourth of an avocado. And this is gonna round out this healthy dinner with a good balance of proteins and fats. But like I said earlier, this dinner recipe has quickly become one of my new favorites because it's just so tasty and delicious. If you enjoyed my teriyaki ground turkey bowls that I shared in one of my previous healthy meal preps, then you'll definitely Definitely want to try this one. And the last thing we need to prep is our snack for the week, which is going to be these blueberry flax protein shakes. So into my blender, I'm adding two and a half cups of frozen blueberries, two and a half cups of plain unsweetened Greek yogurt, five tablespoons of ground flax seeds to get in some extra fiber and fats, about three quarter cups of your favorite protein powder. And keep in mind, I'm making enough here for five shakes, not just one. Add some cinnamon to taste and about two to three cups of water. Blend it all up until it's extra smooth. And if you want it to be a little bit sweeter, feel free to add in a frozen banana. Now the snack is optional, but it's a great way to get in extra protein throughout the day because each shake contains 31 grams of protein. And now I'm just transferring them to my jars. And by the way, if you wanna freeze these, make sure you use freezer friendly bottles. I'll go ahead and link the ones that I like below. But this is a quick and easy way to sneak in extra protein and nutrients throughout the day. But I am done meal prepping for the week. We have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and our protein shakes prepped and ready to go for a full five day work week. I'm so excited to hear your feedback on this new menu and all these new recipes. Be sure to leave your comments below, but my fridge is fully stocked and prepped for the week. Well, all right, y'all, that is it for today's video. Another healthy meal prep for a full five day work week. Don't forget, I'll have all the important links for this meal prep listed for y'all in the description box below, including the blog post where you can print off the full menu and the link for the free downloadable grocery shopping list. And if you're enjoying my five day meal preps, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know and comment below what your favorite recipe is from this week's menu. I love hearing y'all's feedback. Of course, if you give any of my recipes or my meal preps a try, don't forget that you can tag me over on Instagram and I will reshare that on my stories. But anyway, that's it for today and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!